Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are going to be testing out some Mega Bass swim baits. They're just a little paddle tail. Uh, what do you call those things? I think that's the Mega Bass Spark Shad. I have three and four inch. I don't think I have any five inch tied on. So we'll get right up here and whip some of those puppies out and go from there. Lake sure rose a lot with all these rainstorms that we've had. We were supposed to be in a drought this year and that's not happening. It's awesome. Let's grab something here. We'll try the black and blue. This water is pretty stained. So this is the black and blue mega bass uh, swim jig head and the mega bass three inch spark shad. Let's see what that does. Let that sink down to the bottom a little bit. To be honest guys, it's the first time I've ever used this, this company. Looks like it got some good swim action. So we should be able to get into some fish here in just a little bit. We gotta figure out if they want it fast, if they want it slow, if they want it right in between. Let's throw this for a little bit and we'll switch up. I got a few of these, these tied on in different colors, different weights. And I also brought a, a Ned rig just to, that way I could just at least go home with a fish. I might have to slow the retrieve down just a little bit. I am using, uh, I think this is like a 7-1 gear ratio reel, so it's, it's a pretty fast reel. I've heard great reviews on these baits, so I thought I'd give them a try. One more cast with black and blue and we'll switch over and see how they like a white. I lied. One more. One more cast. Alright, let's try this bad boy. This is the same same setup I used earlier, but this is in gold shiner and can't really say the name of this uh, the paddle tail that I have on here. I think it's like AU, A Y U or A U Y or something like that. You know, tomato, tomato. You guys know what I mean. But like the swim action on this thing is incredible. Just go out and fish and have fun. Figure out what works for you and the bodies of water that you fish and slay them. See a little splash out there. Let's see if we reel this little guy up. I think this one is in the half ounce, so it's for for the deeper fish. 
Right now I'm in seven foot of water. You know what? I should have brought some top water. Guess that's what I get. But uh I went up to uh up to one of our high mountain lakes on Saturday with a buddy and uh yeah, we didn't. The only thing I caught was like a pike minnow, <laughs> and he caught. I guess he caught a bass, but I told him the uh, pictures that didn't happen because we were up there for like eight hours and fishing. Like, there we go. Look at that. There we go, guys. There we go. Just a little guy, but hey, fish is a fish. Look at there. It works. Look at that, Skylar. It works. Your mega bass lure works, buddy. Hanging out here on the edge of these grasses. It was pretty warm too. You know, everybody up here, they're like, you know, smallmouth is where it's at, you know? The only problem is, is, you know, there's smallmouth everywhere up here. And, uh, we don't have many largemouth lakes up here. You see, I, I love fishing for large mouth and the rod I'm using is just a lose uh, Mach 2 mock just a mock uh 7.2 medium heavy fast action if any of you guys are, care about that kind of stuff it's like a 80 dollar rod from i think i got it at sportsman's i think you can get them at like bass pro shop cabela's tackle warehouse actually i think on tackle warehouse they're actually on sale Yeah, that was a pretty fun bite. I've never used this, this bait before, but I, I know the color and uh, I knew I knew this color would get bit. I mean, it had to because it's... When I first started fishing this lake, I was using uh, gold tubes and they was just like boom, 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 boom. But nothing like of size. It was just... Basically, you throw a tube just to get bit. Yeah, let's uh, move down the, the lake here a little bit. Nice jet boat wakes. <laughs> I just had the craziest thing that happened to me just a minute ago. So I'm throwing that big ass swim bait, that six cents uh, swim crankbait, and I just had a catfish completely engulf this thing. Never had a catfish come close to being that aggressive. It was insane. Check out the photos. Right? Insane, huh? 
For any of you uh, local Idaho boys, you know how strange that is. I didn't get it on camera because obviously my camera shut off and I didn't know. But it looks like my camera is about to die. So uh, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Well guys, it's day number two and I got off to a very late start. So I had the alarm clock set for five o'clock this morning and yeah, that didn't work out. Felt like dog crap. Felt a little better this, about nine o'clock so I jumped in the truck. Went and did some errands and then now it's 11.30 and I'm finally out on the lake. Using the GoPro today with no battery and the external external battery to see how that's gonna last. The camera did shut off once, so let's see how it goes. But anyways, let's get the day started. Let's see what kind of mood they're in. Of course, as soon as I get out on the lake, everybody decides they need to call me. Still can't get over catching that channel catfish last night, yesterday evening. On that six cents swimming crankbait. I knew the catfish out here aggressive, but I didn't know they were that aggressive. Yay! All right, let's switch this up a little bit. Did catch a pretty nice 17 incher though, off camera last night. Here's the photo. You're gonna make the cut. Nope. I don't think you're gonna make the cut. Well, guys, that's gonna do it um, for this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, do me a favor and leave a comment down below on if you guys actually enjoy this type of content. If not, uh, just leave a comment on what you'd like to see more of. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below on what type of videos you would like to see. And we can go from there. Thanks, guys.